Hey everyone, Michelle here at Be Rejuvenated. Just wanted to remind you that your mind is your power. Did you know that your mind, your thoughts are the cause to every effect that happens in your 3D world and in all of your circumstances? Yep, it's absolutely true. You have to know that your mind is the only thing, the only seed, your imagination, that is what creates everything that happens in your world. We have the power to project our thoughts on the screen of space, which is our 3D world. Try to picture yourself as a movie projector and the screen as your life, your 3D world, right? So if you put in the Titanic, for example, in the projector, you're not going to see Lord of the Rings on the screen, correct? Well, your mind works in the exact same way. And let me explain how. Essentially, the thoughts that you think and the feelings that you feel are what you are going to experience in your 3D world. And when I say thoughts and feelings, I'm talking about what you predominantly think and feel for the most part. Because what you imagine in your mind is what causes everything to occur out in your 3D world. So you have to be very intentional in what you're thinking. You wanna start shifting your thoughts from, I can't, it's too hard, I'm too tired, I'll do it tomorrow, to anything is possible. I'm in control. What I think is what becomes. I always get what I want. Everything is always working out for me. Okay, you wanna be able to think in the most successful mindset to know that everything you do always works out for you. And when the basis of your mind is everything is always working out for you, then you know that you're always successful in getting everything and anything that you want. And you also know that it begins and ends really with the energy of the thoughts that you're thinking and feeling. It's not the physical effort and action that we're putting out in the world where we're trying to manipulate and change things or people. And so now where the feeling comes in, what I mean by feeling is, is that it's not just necessarily the feeling of how something would feel um, in itself, but also really more the feeling of knowing that you've already accomplished it. You've already received it. You've already become it. You are already it as far as you're concerned. Okay. And yes, you can go along with those elevated emotions as well, like the sense of relief, the sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. And this is creating your state of being. And I know you've heard me talk many times before in other videos that what you are actually being is what you're going to get. It's not just what you want only, but who you are and what you are actually already being is what you're going to get, what, what is going to materialize in your 3D world. And in a nutshell, this is basically what's called the law of assumption, where you assume you or even others or even just circumstances are already accomplished. Your desires are already done. You already have them or you've already become who you want to be. The wish is fulfilled. And regardless of circumstances, of what's going on around you, you are staying loyal to that thought and that belief, knowing that it's been accomplished. Now, why are these unfavorable and opposite, or what appear to be opposite circumstances occurring in your world? Well, those are because of old beliefs that you had prior to creating these new beliefs. So it's just filtering itself out into the 3D world as any other thought would. So don't become deterred by that. Remember, the 3D world is a shadow Okay, of your thoughts and imaginal acts in your mind. It has no power, okay? It's just showing you what you've been thinking, what you've been feeling. It has no power, so don't be afraid of it. Don't think that what you're seeing in the outside world is final, is your final destination. No, those were just from the old thoughts that you've already been thinking. So that's why it's really important that your self-concept 
your self-consciousness, what you think and feel and believe about yourself is really something to be mindful about and that if you take a look inside yourself and you and you see that you're not thinking favorably um, or the best version of yourself that it's something you need to shift and when you do that you're going to see other things and people shift in your reality you don't have to forcefully manipulate or put some kind of effort into it it's already happening involuntarily for you right so like when you go to bed at night you're not doing something intentional for your heart to keep beating it just beats on its own and that's the life principle the life source power within us that we carry because your self-concept works automatically along with the law of assumption they're both just automatic things that are continual 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just like the law of gravity, just like the way your body involuntarily operates, right? Like the way your heart beats, the way you breathe, the way you digest your food, it's just automatic. You don't have to think about it. So essentially both law and spirit work together automatically. Sorry, and I'm looking at my notes. Um, and you know it the law must act according to your self-concept and your self-concept is again what you believe what you think and what you feel about yourself and even about others about your circumstances just everything that goes through your mind nothing is off limits so the recap here today is your mind is your power Okay, it is the only cause to your effect in your 3D world. Okay, and try to picture yourself, like I said, as the projector in a movie room, right? And your life, your 3D world as the projector, the projection screen, right? So what you put in that projector is what's going to project out onto that screen. And that's exactly how your mind works. And actually, before I go, something really interesting that I learned about your mind is that it actually has three master powers. And when you become aware of these three powers, it is mind blowing how invincible you really start to feel, okay? And I'll do another video to tell you more in detail about the three powers, but these three powers are essentially the engine that really powers your world. The first is our ability to think our ability to consciously and intentionally think the thoughts that we think and the feelings that we feel. The second thing is, is that our mind is what controls our body. Yep. So if you are someone who is dealing with a lot of chronic pain or, you know, long-term illness, it's, it all becomes because of what you're thinking in your and that's really a wonderful thing to know because when you realize the power that you have, you can begin harnessing that energy to really change your body. Yes, regardless of genetics and family history, you can literally change your body's gene map, okay? And so now the third thing is that you can actually think for others. Yeah, and that's called thought transmission. And now you're probably wondering, what do you mean I can think for others? Well, what I mean is that, again, your mind and your self-concept of yourself and others is what you're going to experience. So when you are thinking for others, you can view them in your imagination as maybe someone who has gotten the job that they wanted or, you know, is responding to you in the relationship that you want and is now behaving, you know, in the way that you want them to be with you. Thought transmission is actually causing a correlation within their bodies and their words through the thoughts that you think. You can actually aid them in the control of their situations. And you don't have to feel guilty about it at all. You're not essentially controlling them in a negative way. And if you think about it, you're already doing that by how you think of a person in the first place. So you may as well think of them in a favorable way so that they will react that way. So that's it from me today, and I know that this will help you to understand the how 
And when you understand the how, it gets so much easier to do. And again, it's already something you're doing. So really, basically, you're just tweaking your thoughts and your feelings so that you can tweak what happens in your 3D world and begin experiencing things in a favorable way and things always working out for you. Remember, one mind, one power, one cause, one seed. That's it for me. I hope that you really got something out of this today. Um, I truly enjoy talking with you and helping you um, live your best life and understand how powerful you really are and that everything really is always working out for you. So have fun. Enjoy life. I love you. Thanks for taking time out of your busy world to be in mind to rejuvenate with me. And we will talk together again soon in the next video. In the meantime, uh, take care. Have a great day. Make it a good one. And go out there and know who you are. Remember who you are and know your power. All right. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Love you.